How's it going? So today I've created a membrane based simulation in uh, JavaScript. So basically I have a membrane of beads which are connected to each other. Uh, these beads can be of different shape. So I can click on the different uh, bead configurations and the shapes uh, will be sphere, cube, or torus. Torus was just for fun, uh, but it just has a slight effect on the pattern. But the more interesting thing is this membrane can have different configurations of its overall shape. So it can create a square membrane. And so this is me clicking on areas of this membrane. I can also go back to circular, or I could create a wave-like membrane in a 2D, 3D wave structure. So you can actually see uh, the membrane as it rotates in space, in free space. So now, going on to some of the more interesting properties of this membrane, is, and the things that I can do with the tool that I built, is that let's say I wanted a very, uh, very slight perturbance, right? but in a very stiff perturbance. You can see that very little happens, but let's say I want to reduce the stiffness so and I increase the radiance of perturbance, I can do that so I can perturb larger parts of the membrane. Now that's interesting because you know, increasing the stiffness of this material, right? This is a pseudo material, also changes uh, the ability to, of the membrane producing mechanism to create more sound. And, and so now what I can do, I can, I can reduce the damping factor. And what happens is any vibrations pretty much immediately uh, cause the membrane to disassociate because the damping is zero. So now there's, uh, you know, this is essentially a, a wave equation. Uh, you can think of the popular wave equation as uh, guiding some of the dynamics of this wave right but even a little bit of damping can cause the wave to disassociate uh, or, or a little lowering of the damping can cause the wave to disassociate dramatically so if we put the dampening down to zero as you can see it disassociates right away but the nice thing is that i've had it so that it can actually reassociate under certain conditions and so if i change the wave shape it will reassociate back to you know a toroid or a sphere uh, or a circular shape and obviously there's a volume so now what i've decided to do is also create a random uh, generator so i can generate several different oscillations within the membrane so These are just automatically generated. It's not me clicking. So kind of maybe simulating a little bit of uh, a drum kind of pattern. And again, I can change the stiff stiffness and have it like, you know, generate randomly uh, and continue to generate larger sounds. So in different patterns and generate a different tone. So. So I can, in, can live increase the radius. And again, if I increase, decrease the damping, at the length, this will once again. Now again, I'm just using the standard wave equation for these um, uh, calculations for how the disturbance should propagate throughout the uh, wave medium. And so, uh, you know, these can be calculated and uh, sort of semi-predictable, but it's interesting because once you get more complicated, you have to use uh, uh, more spherical harmonic functions if you want to kind of predict what the actual uh, properties of this system are. So, yep, that's kind of my setup. Did this all in JavaScript. And yeah, well, thank you again for watching.